I'll tell you what, along with us, apple trees are having a tough time in this weird weather. They started to bloom back in March when it was so mild, and now some of those branches are frozen. Those trees, like most of us, a little confused about what's going on with the weather. So how is that going to affect the apple crop? News 8's Tina Detail live tonight in East Lime. With that, Tina? You know, just yesterday, this whole area was covered in ice and snow. Now, fortunately, that has now melted, although it's still a bit chilly here. You can see the buds, though. They look fine, but there's concern the cold weather could have done some damage, and they won't know for a few weeks. All these blossoms were all encased in ice. Karen Scott took lots of pictures of that ice, which didn't melt until Tuesday afternoon. She's hoping the ice, which is 32 degrees, protected the apple buds from the colder temperatures we had this week. That was prob probably keeping them warmer. Still, they won't know for sure for a few weeks when the buds start to bloom the first week in May. When they open up, they'll show damage or they won't show damage. Tom Scott is hopeful that the temperatures, which were in the 20s, weren't cold enough to do damage. He says the teens would have been worse. The bigger loss may be in this orchard, but these aren't apple trees. These are peach trees. They froze on Valentine's Day. The wind was blowing so hard, it just completely killed them. Eight to ten below with the wind chill factor. The Scots who own Scots Yankee Farmer took some branches inside to get them to blossom sooner. Most just grew leaves and never flowered, which is what turns into the fruit. So they may not have many peaches to sell this year. It's a lot of money. I, hmm, I'd guess between seventy-five and hundred thousand dollars in peaches. And you've lost that. They're gone, yeah. The reason the buds came out early this year is because of the warm days in March Actually, and inland where it was warmer than the shoreline. The apple trees may be further along. Those farmers, too, will have to see what will bloom. They could have rings on the fruit or there may not be any buds there or flowers there at all. You know, you got to wait and see. And that's certainly what they'll be doing. Now, we're told these apple trees are a hardy bunch, and they're hoping as long as the temperatures didn't drop below 20 and won't drop below 20 soon, that they'll be just fine. We're live in East Lime. Tina Detell, News 8.